Super Bowl 53 is nearing, and this year both quarterbacks are from the Bay Area. The veteran, Tom Brady from San Mateo, and the young gun, Jared Goff of Nevada. And while the two starting quarterbacks prepare in Atlanta, their dads are right here in the Bay Area. Yeah, this week we're talking to both of their fathers. Mark Abanez will introduce us to Jared Goff's dad tomorrow. Tonight, Jason Applebaum sits down with Tom Brady Sr. The greatest of all time, Tom Brady going to the Super Bowl again. Tom Brady's unrivaled success has made him a hero to many. So who's his hero? I think my dad is my hero because he's someone that I look up to every day. And uh, my dad. We met up with his dad, Tom Sr., in San Mateo at a park not far from the home where Brady grew up. And we talked about what this remarkable journey has been like nine Super Bowls in 18 seasons. Get the one is awesome because there's so many guys in the NFL that never had that privilege. And then getting to a second and a third and a fourth and a fifth and a sixth and a seventh and an eighth and a ninth. <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's beyond bizarre. Especially when you consider how Brady got here as the ultimate underdog overlooked by his coaches at every stop. When he was at Michigan, he was the seventh quarterback. When he was at Sarah, he was the backup quarterback on a team that went 0-8. Brady wasted no time in winning the starting job in both high school and college, but a pro career seemed unlikely. In the 2000 NFL draft, Brady was not selected until late in the sixth round, 199th overall, the seventh quarterback taken. How is that possible? He, he, uh, he doesn't have the, the measurables necessarily. You know, when he ran the 40-yard dash, he was the first quarterback that they ever used a sundial to time him. <laughs> it's something the family can no doubt laugh about now, but Brady has used being overlooked as fuel to prove all the doubters wrong. But now that he's the winningest quarterback of all time, can he possibly still be using that as motivation at all? I think so, absolutely. That's kind of soldered into his soul that um, he wasn't worthy enough. We are not finished. We are not finished. No. Brady's competitive fire started at an early age in a household with three older sisters who all excelled in sports. My wife is very competitive. My daughters are very competitive. I'm very competitive. He would always strive to be better. Not only to be better, but to be the best. If the Patriots win Sunday against the Rams, Brady will have six rings, more than any player in history. So does it get any less nerve wracking for his dad, having watched his son perform on the biggest stage so many times? No, every game is, is nervous, even during the regular season. It's just like you're nervous when your 10-year-old kid is up to the plate in baseball, hoping that he gets a hit. You're all in. It's just, that's the role of a parent. This time around, there's new motivation for Brady and that he isn't quite ready to pass the mantle to the new crop of young quarterbacks, like the one he one-upped in the AFC Championship game. I've never, ever seen him ha have a wider smile because it was an absolute stud in Patrick Mahomes against the, the old decrepit prize fighter that's fighting through the 14th round. And, and he showed the young guy that it's okay to be old because he's got as much or more fight in him than he's ever had before. And he'll need every bit of that fight again on Sunday to get past another rising star in Marin's Jared Goff. The 24-year-old Goff is just a year older than Brady was when he went to his first Super Bowl, a comeback win over the Rams. On this day, Brady's dad proudly showed off that first Super Bowl ring, saying his son told him to keep it there would be more to come. As for whether he has any advice for the Goff family as they prepare for their first Super Bowl? Just enjoy every minute of it. You know, you never know when it's gonna be the last one. Jason Applebaum, KTVU, Fox 2.